no yo this time. I don't want to be locked into the yo intro, so I'm not going to yo every time. Just most of the time. I'm still going to yo most of the time, just not this time. Uh... Alright, time to revise my build. Give me a year. Alright, here's my new build. I'm just gonna roll with this one. Oh, I didn't really show up for long. Here it is. Uh, quick slash, steady body, unbreakable strength, shaman, and this one. I didn't know what to do for the last one, so I figured might as well just do that one. And... Yeah, so I'm gonna roll with this just forever. Oh, whoops. I don't know why I ever didn't have Shaman. Like, even if it's a all-nail build. Like, it's... Probably the best charm in the game. Maybe? I mean, it's more damage and already, like, your ultimate damaging things, right? So, like, essentially your ultimates. Like, if it were a fighting game. Like, if this were Smash Bros, his final smash would be, uh, Shade Soul into, um, Abyssal Shriek. This one? Or maybe it'd be, um... I don't know. I think probably that's what it'd be. Maybe it'd be just Desolate Dive. Just in general. Is it always called Desolate Dive? Or is it, like... Oh, it's Descending Dark. Okay, I never remember Descending Dark. Um... Damn you. There we go. That's fine, actually. I just don't like this fight, so I just- I want it to go by as quick as possible. He's just annoying. So- for so much of the fight, he's invincible, and it's just- yeah. There we go. I like that glitch. I don't know- I don't know how the glitch works. But the glitch where you just kind of can, like, uh, Monarch wings repeatedly. Really nice. And by nice, I mean funny. It, it doesn't really have much. It doesn't have much practical use. It has it there. It has it. It's just not, it's rare, it's scarce, hard to find. Okay, well, set sail, motherfucker. There we go. Easy. My nails are tiny. Well, whoops, dash the wrong way. Did that do two? No. Oh, you fucker. I'm just gonna heal. So, so. Why'd you release that? I didn't... I didn't stop holding X. Not oh, nice. Come on. Thank you. I mean, it's like... Oh my god, man. Yeah. Fuck you, Grim. Stop being a... Uh... Coward ass invincible motherfucker. Water! 
water. 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 Yeah. Do I really want to roll with this build? What is the build? Oh, I see. Oh, I definitely should have equipped Gathering Swarm and Throwing. That's what I needed, Gathering Swarm. I mean, this is like clearly my millionaire run. What else could this be? Is that a thing in this game? I don't know, I don't really stay up to date making me- uh oh. I am... I have... I have not played in too long. I'm too, like, drowsy right now to have any confidence in beating this guy. Okay. Yeah. I never lack confidence for no reason. I am c always confident in I lack confidence appropriately. He only took half my health and all of my soul. I'm so good. I am getting a bit better at that fight, though. I just gotta use the Descending Dark. Yeah, Descending Dark, that's it. Why, you immediately spawned me a jellyfish. Uh oh. Oh! Man, that fight is so hard. Wow. <laughs> this is the hardest fight ever. Like, wow. Rama! Oh. I'm gonna use this opportunity to heal, since there's no other healing, and I'm apparently really bad at this fight. I was about to say, like, really good at this fight, because, you know, I've done it, like, 77 times. I'm dead. Never mind. I wasn't down one... Man, I don't know why I thought I was dead, but... I probably deserve to be hit there, okay. But wow, you went so far. Actually, I'm just gonna gather as much souls as I- oh. Well, that plan went out the window instantly. Bastard. Hello. <laughs> I tried to do a dash slash there, but I did not realize that it would. His thing, his fucking nail is so big. What are you doing? Okay. I'm being outskilled so hard. Uh -uh. <laughs> yeah, outskilled. What am I at on the recording? Let me take a look. Got nine minutes. Hmm. I could do. I'll do one pantheon, one nail restriction. I think. Maybe charm restriction. What are my charms? 
Oh, I got steady body, bro. And quick slash? Playing the game without steady body quick slash? Hmm. Now. Let us see. Let us begin. Alright, it's this guy. Got about this bastard. Maybe I should have done Soul Eater for this. Soul Eater, Shaman, Stone, just so I can spell spam the fuck out of this annoying bastard. Just hiding in the corner the entire time. Like, come on, you're so annoying. Okay, that... I forgot the that the dash slash goes very far one direction, but does not reach under you, like, at all. There we go, god. He's so annoying, genuinely. Hate that thing. Hate it. It's just like a time waster of a fight. I think Nail Master's Glory is probably one of the better charms in the game. I think the issue with the one charm notches, this game, at least in my opinion, I think this game's one charm notches are kind of weirdly decided. Because I mean like, you got Wayward Compass, uh, just complete immortality, complete total invincibility, like you can't be touched at all. Uh, your attacks deal 25 times more damage, and he costs only one single charm notch. Uh, and then Sprint Master that is here increasing your speed by 0.1%. Like, come on. Why would you ever equip Sprint Master? Well, I mean, the Gathering Swarm and Wayward Compass combination, it increases your speed by three times. So what's the point of even using... Sprint Master. Like, it's one more charm notch, I think. I don't know. Let me check. Yeah, only one more. I don't know why I thought that Gathering Swarm had a chance to be two notches, but I did. Hello there, buddy. I named a video after you that you barely appeared in, and I got a lot of views. Thanks for that. I should do it again this time, actually. That's a good idea. Yo, Unbreakable Strength with the Nail Restriction really kind of just removes the point of the Nail Restriction. Well, I mean, I guess when you're just doing the one restriction. Once I do all of them, it'll definitely be a lot more noticeable of a restriction, because my Nail will be doing Fuck all for damage. Yeah, he muted her. <laughs> Man, shut the fuck up. Alright, super advanced strategy. No one ever figured it out before, but this is actually the best way to fight Hornet. Literally unbeatable. Like, she cannot do anything about this strategy. See? Look, everyone's talking about Gruz Mother, Massive Moss Charger, and, uh, fucking Vengefly King being the easiest. Bro, first Har Hornet is, like, the easiest thing ever. Oh, oh it's Corb. Alright, I'm ready to lose. Come on. Stop it. He has, he has too much health for how powerful he is. Oh, okay. He's gone. He's gone. Scary Gorb is away. Scary Gorb gone. Scary Gorb terrifying. Oh, I should have saved soul. <laughs> what? What happened to me? 
I can't believe this is like the final release of the game and shit like that still happens. It's awesome. I mean, it makes sense. The game's got glitches, but it's just funny. Like, nobody somehow was go went unnoticed until the game was finished that if you jump during the Dung Defender's intro, like, and do the Whirlwind Slash, you're just- you just slide across the floor before the fight starts. Like, it's just, like, things like that. Like, how did that go unnoticed until the end of the game's development? Nobody did that, really? Oh man, the hardest fight again. Man, people sleep on Pantheon a lot. It's got some of the hardest fights in this game, and nobody even acknowledges it. I mean, like, look at this guy, for example. Like, look at this. I have to try so hard against him. I'm literally, like, I'm using all of my options, and it's such a close fight still. Like, you're sleeping on Pantheon one for no reason. Hey, stop it. Bastard. They're hanging on the ledge and I can't hide there. Caps lock. That's what I meant to do. See, look at how hard this is. I'm about to die. Oh, I actually got hit. See? The hardest Pantheon. No one even acknowledges it. It's so hard. 